lesson three and four, six limbs of Indian painting. See, many of us might be knowing that uh, the Vasayan in his Kam Sutra had written a lot on arts also, on the visual arts and performing arts, etc. And while he wrote it, Pandit Yashodar at uh, Amir in its, roughly in 8th century commented on the beauties of these arts and especially in reference to painting, he, uh, Pandit Yashodhar from Amir, he divided the appreciation of art into six limbs of Indian painting. So it is in, purely in the reference of Indian painting done before eighth century, mind it. See, when we talk of six limbs of painting, we have to talk purely in a reference to the earlier times. And when we say earlier times means we can even include miniature painting traditions in it. And while looking at the visuals, we can establish how these six limbs of paintings are connected to our Indian system of painting. See, these six limbs of Indian painting are Rupa, Praman, Bhav, Lavan Yajanam, Sadrash, and Varnika Bhang. See, the first one comes Rupa Bhed. Rupa Bhed means Bhed between Rupa. Rupa is the form. Suppose, see, you are painting a king. The king should look different to his ministers. Or the king should look different from his courtiers. So while you are drawing the figure of any anybody, if you are drawing a parrot, the parrot should not look like a crow. So you understand how the form is to be differentiated, the artist should be strongly uh, trained to do these works. For example, look at it. So if he is understanding the difference of forms, then he is competent enough to paint the good painting. That is Rupa Bhed. He should know the variations or differences of one form to the other form. For example, second is Praman. Praman means in English if we translate it, it is proportion. Now see, there are two kinds of proportions. One is a physical proportion and another proportion is the mental proportion. In physical proportion, you should know how long this man's figure will be there when the, he is talking to a lady figure, female figure, or to a naika. A naik, naik is na, talking to the naika. The naika has to be a little smaller than the naik. Or if he is talking to a beggar, the beggar should be bending before him. So these are the things where the proportions are very important. Suppose if one is standing before a tree, the tree has, has to be larger than the human figure. So that action is to be understood, that proportion is to be understood. So an artist should be aware to draw the proportion with his intellectual mind. Look at it. But at the same time, when we talk of mental proportion, then what has happened, which is very common in Indian painting. In Ajanta, you must have seen the Buddha while coming to Yashodhra for uh, begging the arms. He has been painted so huge vertically and Yashodhra is very smaller. That is to give a strong dominance to that proportion. So this is a mental proportion where the artists want to stress on that particular figure and so 
this figure is elongated, bigger, and Yashoda's figure is smaller. Now let us talk about third thing that is bhav. Bhav, if you translate it in, into English, bhav is the emotions. Now a character should have a bhav of the stature of his character. Suppose there is a woman who is crying. Now the, the woman should be squeezed, she should, she should bend in such a way that her form and her, her expressions automatically release the expressions as, as she is crying. So you should know that bhava, how one would behave, that has to be understood very deeply by the artist. So while rendering the figuration, he should know how the expression will come out or the emotions of that particular figure will come out. That is bhava. The next is Lavani, Lavani Yojana. Lavani Yojana is very close to the decoration or we could say that, see painting is basically a design. So we are creating a design and while designing the thing we should know the space organization where is to be put what one should know. So the artist would be known as a perfect artist only when he knows how to design. Suppose I am making a palace, palace should not look like a normal house, it should look like a palace. The corridor of palace can have beautiful, decor well decorated verandas or the carpet should be uh, very ornate. So that kind of lavandium should be, uh, should be strongly uh, commanded by an artist, then only he will be a strong artist. That is lavandium yojana. For example, Next point is Sadrashi. Sadrashi means the visual approach of a form. That the character should look like the character has, which has been painted by the artist. So he, the artist should be well, I mean he should be expert in drawing the particular figure of that cutter. That is Sadrashi. Look at it. Next is Varnika Bhangam. Look, Varnika Bhang means, I mean in English we will translate it as uh, palette, the colors.
you know while you are applying the colors to a to a surface or to a figuration or to an area the artist should be able to understand that how he is juxtaposing which he is enhancing the which form he is enhancing which form he is subletting inside so he should be well aware of his palette he should know the chemistry of the colors perfectly that on paper if he is using this color how much gum is to be mixed which brush is to be used so he should be well aware of the application of the color the chemistry of the color and the psychology of the color our indian miniatures have been masterly painted by uh, our painters and they were so perfect in varnika bhangam thank you i believe you have followed the chapter thank you vatan had commented on that but he had not given the examples of any artwork of that time Ajanta's works are there. He has not commented anything. He uh, gives these uh, parameters, these this uh, this scale that he is giving is just for understanding a work of art or artificialization or rather aesthetics of art. Neither. nobody has uh, applied these limbs with ajanta uh, with uh, you see medieval uh, artwork sculptures for neither uh, somebody has talked about that only these later critics have lifted these words to the uh, art books and they have added into the fundamental of i believe they 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 have, they have nothing to do fundamental uh, with fundamentals of art they you may calculate that these uh, six limbs may be for the application of art or for the aesthetic purpose the art is beautiful and for uh, the beauty of the art the six limbs are there to assess how it is and you show that who very late 13th uh, 12th century i don't know like the date but he has explained all that but he, he has also not compared it to any uh, creative art of that time that time you see medieval uh, sculptural art was very much developed in india but nobody talks about it and with me the form variety of forms difference of form human form form of an animal form of a, a tree or uh, all the forms that you are uh, uh, that are viewing so what we view is a sort of a form how it is carried to a painting uh, work is yes, not Man needs proportion, measurement. So it is. Just one hand is not so big, another hand is all right. So proportion means concerning the body, concerning the head, nature, etc. Emotions. Bhav means what the artist has felt, whether he. is able to project into him his art work that is all he has been properly projecting his his uh, art sensibility with his emotions in a book of art lavanya means when the work is beautiful beautiful here means when the work is expressive Whether it is concerned with a sorrowful subject or something like that, 
if the expression is very complete, it has created all the beauty of a work of art. Making it beautiful, making it beautiful, how the art should be attractive. So here, sometimes the sense of decoration also comes, where the decorative art has been separated in a different way. So uh, when an artist assesses his work, when he examines his work, you see, he has to uh, add all his devices to make the work beautiful. That is now. Whether, e even if it is a picture of tragedy, it is a picture giving sorrow experience, yet it is beautiful. Similarity. If you are drawing a figure of a man, there should be similarity with that. If you are going for a landscape study, you have to be truthful about uh, the view that you are viewing or painting. So fabulous and simple. Body commonly more concerned with color treatment, color, color part or color wheel. Um, that is palette of uh, palette of painting. Colors, their combinations, their uh, verifications. It is more concerned with the color V. What color you are putting with what other color? Adjacent colors or tertiary colors or secondary colors and so on. 